Tonight we'll explore the water, the European red fox. The European red fox is Australia's number one predator, preying the long-term survival of a range of native wildlife. The red fox is also found throughout Canada, Alaska, America, Europe, Australia, North Africa, and almost all of Asia, including Japan. But first, what is the European red fox? European red fox's looks are commonly a rusty red with a white underbelly, black ear tips and legs, and a bushy tail usually with a distinctive white tip. Adult red foxes range in weight from 3.6 to 7.6 kilograms, depending on the region. In Australia, the red fox is an introduced species and a conservation problem. The introduction occurred about 1850 for recreational fox hunting. Red foxes live around the world in many diverse habitats, including forests, grasslands, mountains and deserts. They also adapt well to human environments, such as farms, suburban areas and even large communities. Red foxes are solitary hunters who feed on rodents, rabbits, birds and other small game, but their diet can be flexible as their home habitat. Foxes will eat fruit and vegetables, fish, frogs and even worms. If living among humans, foxes will opportunistically dine on garbage and pet food. Foxes breed once a year. Both sexes mature in the first year, which is 10 to 12 months. Females have a gestation period of around 53 days and kits, which are baby foxes, are born around August, September. Litters vary from 1 to 13 kits and our average litter contains 15 kits. At birth, the kit only weighs 50 to 150 grams. They are initially blind and open their eyes 9 to 14 days later. Kids venture out of the den when they are 4 to 5 weeks old and they are fully weaned by 8 to 10 weeks. The European red fox were brought to Australia for recreational hunting. Soon they spread throughout Australia except in the tropical north. The reasons this animal became such a pest in this land is because it has no natural predators here, they can live and adapt to a range of habitats, they eat a range of foods and native Australian animals are not used to defending themselves from predators. Foxes prey on lambs and may take up to 40% of all lambs on a single farm. Even native predators such as spotted tail quolls are affected by foxes. Foxes also spread seeds of weeds such as blackberry and in their droppings. Foxes are also a threat to biodiversity because they kill small ground dwelling native animals such as a number, wombat, barred bandicoot and black flanked wallaby. They may kill more native animals if rabbits which they love to eat are controlled by RCD. They will kill animals for sport as well as food. They could also become carriers of a brain disease called rabies by accident if it enters Australia. This deadly disease affects mammals including humans. Controlling foxes mechanical control. People control foxes by shooting them, catching them in traps or building fox-proof fences. However, native animals sometimes get caught in the traps. Fox skins used to be worth enough to earn shooters a living, but when fur isn't in fashion there is little money to be made and this makes numbers of foxes increase. Fox hunting is now illegal in Britain, in Scotland since 2002, and in England and Wales since 2005. It is still legally practiced in Australia, Ireland and North America though. Chemical control. Poisonous baits are very for foxes to find and eat. Baits are cheap and effective and break down quickly so it's no longer harmful to other animals. New research. Scientists are searching for ways to stop female foxes from having young. On the map you are looking at now, you see the distribution of the red fox around the world showing its range, including Canada, Alaska, America, Europe, Australia, North Africa and Asia, including Japan. In Australia, population density is dependent on prey availability and fox numbers are highest in high density rabbit areas. Fox densities of between 0.6 and 2 per square kilometre have been recorded in the arid and semi-arid rangelands of Australia. The spread of the European red fox across Australia was closely linked to that of the rabbit and today the distributions of both species largely coincide. The northern limit to fox distribution in Australia is believed to be somewhat flexible. 
expanding northwards during good seasons and retreating southwards during drier times. In the Northern Territory, foxes are largely confined to the more arid areas but appear to be expanding in their range in a northerly direction. So there you have it. Thank you for watching and I hope you join us next week on LTV. Every night, only on Animal Planet.